Hello classy people, Wayne Bolden. I'm here at the Speed King channel. It's Thursday evening for sure. And as always, please turn your closed captions on. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. That's a great way to support us. And remember, our all stakes tip sheets will be available this weekend. All eyes turn to fairgrounds for the Risen Star. That's the Derby prep race, of course, in race number 13. So again, email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. And you can text me at 732-804-0637 for the tip sheets. They're 15 bucks. Great way to support us. Well, we're back over at the fairgrounds. I wanted to take a look at the stake race, race number 11. A little interested in this race. It's a grade 3 uh, fairgrounds uh, stakes, a mile and an eighth for 4-year-olds and up. $150,000. That's not bad, y'all. That's pretty good, actually, right? It's a full field of eight, and hopefully it stays on the grass and it doesn't get rained off. Field of eight, four year olds and up, mile and a on the turf. And we're going to jump right into our top pick, the number six horse, Pixelate. Well, Pixelate has six wins from uh, 27 starts, nine seconds, five thirds. Uh, $1.1 million, which is awfully good. This horse is by City Zip. I believe City Zip was trained by D. Wayne Lucas back in the day. On the back end by Street Cry, right? Love that. And uh, Michael Stenham's doing all the training, and I got my boy Louis Saez in the yard. So that never hurts. Uh, Pixel 8, the number 6, is 8-1 to one on the morning line, coming off of a 97-day layoff, making his 6-year-old debut. Now, the last time he ran in November at Churchill was an overnight stake race, which was scheduled for the grass, but it was taken off. That was the River City Handicap. Didn't run that well, but two back across Belmont and Aqueduct on October 9th, the grade three Knickerbocker didn't disgrace at seven to one, ran second behind King Calls. So I believe the horse may be sitting on a race. It is Michael Stenham. It is owned and bred by the Dolphin. So that's always a plus for me. And I just think this horse might be sitting on a big, big race off of a 97 day layoff, making the debut as a six year old back on the turf. Haven't run since October on the turf. So should be freshened up and should be ready to roll. Pixelate, our top pick. Great price at 6-1. Our second pick, well, I'm going to look inside to two Emmys, right? Can't bet this horse enough. Not second-itis a little bit. 3-1 to one only on the morning line, two Emmys. Six wins from 23 starts, nine seconds and one-third, okay? You can see how this horse is a little bit of a bridesmaid. Nine seconds? That's not good. And I tell you, the horse is by English Channel, right? And that's always good, for sure, right? And uh, Robinson's doing the training, and you got the crafty Jimmy Graham's in the yarn. So, once again, two Emmys, three to one, a little short for my blood, who loves to run second. That's why I put him second, you know, at three to one. Our third pick in here is right outside of two Emmys. The number three, Calvary Charge. Well, Calvary charges another six-year-old, yeah, six to one on the morning line, five wins from 22 starts, three seconds and three-thirds by honor code on the back end by Candy Rye. Dallas Stewart is doing all the conditioning, y'all. This one's coming off a very, very long layoff. Not that long, long enough, 180, 161 days Um having ran last at uh, Kentucky Downs in September. So maybe the number three needs a race or two and may not be ready to win this race for sure. But, you know, does have some tra great speed figures there. Two back at uh, Churchill on August 13th, uh, which was the Arlington Million Stakes. Ran decent uh, that day behind uh, Sarantine and um, didn't disgrace at all. But I think the horse may be a little short cavalry charge. Six to one's a nice price to use them underneath. Maybe in your exactas at the most, and maybe definitely in your tries and supers if you're playing that way. The number three cavalry charge is our third pick. And I guess we would be kind of remiss if we didn't take a look at the seven to two favorite in here, Gentle Soul, the number four horse. Five wins from 10 starts. Mr. Calhoun is doing all the conditioning, and I tell you, I mean, I don't know how you can knock this horse. Ran in a stake race, won it last time across this racetrack some 28 days ago, which was the Colonial ER uh, 
Bradley Stakes at 9 to 1. I handicapped that race. I didn't come up with General Soul, so I missed the wedding. I shouldn't probably be going to the funeral here, but this is our fourth pick in here General Soul, the number four at 7 to 2. So, in this year's um, 11th race over there at beautiful fairgrounds, the fairground stakes. Remember, Godolphin has about eight or nine horses in fairgrounds tomorrow. Definitely four in the maiden race, races two, four, and five, and a couple in the uh, uh, stake race, including this one, Pixelate for sure. So our top pick here in race number 11 will be the number six to the Godolphin runner, of course, uh, Pixelate. We think the horse is sitting on a good race and should have a nice, nice return. Our second pick would be that talented, talented two Emmys who loves to run second, by the way, y'all. We think this horse still needs to be paid attention to with the awesome speed figures that he has. And we're going to round it out with the number three Cavalry Charge as our third pick and Gentle Soul as our fourth. So for us, it's six, three, six, two, three, four in this year's uh, Fairground Stakes. 11th race, and by the way, the last four races or the last five races is all stake races. So you have a stake, all stake race pick five, starting in race, uh, starting in race number nine, and you have an all stakes pick four starting in race 10. So that's a nice way horizontally to play some of these horses and get a little coverage if you have a strong opinion in one of these for sure. But we do like the number six horse, pixelate, the dolphin all the time. Six, two, three, four, in that order. Race number 11 at beautiful fairgrounds. Let me know what y'all think for sure. Have a great weekend and have some fun. Make some money, will you? For sure.